Final answer, Jackie. Let me know. The correct answer is B. Let's get into it. Oh, no. It's time for Two Lies and a Leaf. Let's meet our players, their life and dance partners. You know him from The Ellen Show. It's hip-hop dancer Twitch. And TV host and all-around dance phenom, Allison Holker. Whoever moves through today's game with the most points will win an ancestry gift for the family member of their choice and the coveted Golden Leaf Trophy. And I'm your host, keeping you on tempo, Jackie. Let's play Two Lies and a Leaf. Hey! I'm so excited for this. Now, you two met on season seven of So You Think You Can Dance. Was it Love at First Pop and Lock, or how did it all happen? (laughs) We shared one dance, and we've been together ever since. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 There's never been one day that we've ever not been together since our first. Yeah. Since this is the Mother's Day episode, I especially can't wait to tell you about some of the amazing women in your trees. Man, I love being moms. I just like love seeing my kids and their accomplishments and seeing them be so happy and joyful. It just feels like our home truly feels so full. Now, Twitch, what do you know about your own family history? Let me speak in tree language. Oh, please do. I have, like, pretty much a, a seed of knowledge of my family history. Wow, we're really coming now, in with those dad jokes there, today. We're going in going tough. On. Now, this first question is about Allison's grandmother, Isabel Ostvig. She was always like a firecracker. She's just always been really funny and like super strong-willed and independent and like, ah, uh, yeah, I might have taken um, a lot of lessons from her in my life. Well, let's see what else you know about her. During her high school years, Grandma Isabel was a star athlete, even going undefeated her senior year. What sport did she play? <gasps> a, basketball. Okay. B, softball. C, soccer. Softball. I choose the same. The answer is A, basketball. Basketball. Wow. Uh, I thought if I just look really confident. Let's take a look at a newspaper article that mentions her name. I mean, look at that title. Monticello Girls team wins 11 consecutive cage battles. Was she into MMA? (laughs) I don't even know what that means. That is so cool to learn. Oh my goodness. Grandma was a baller. Allison, do you see some of Isabel's traits in yourself? Absolutely. I got my competitive side, my athleticism. I got all of that from her for sure. And you both got no points in that round. No points. It's okay. (laughs) All right, let's keep this party going with round two. Twitch. Yes. Your question is about your mom, Connie. Yes. Tell us about this lady. Even as we were coming up, she was like the most stylish person that I knew, but then also she really has one of the most beautiful laughs I've ever heard. Okay, Twitch, here's your question. When your mom was a junior in high school in Montgomery, Alabama, what club was she in? Was it A, Future Business Leaders of America, Mm -hmm. B, People Helping Mm -hmm. People, or C, Foreign Language Mm -hmm. Learners? B, People Helping People. Final answer, Jackie. Let me know. The correct answer is B. Let's get into it. People Helping People. I love it. Slap me some. Bow. There Bam. we go. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. He didn't about. even know. Uh, he didn't even know. I know, Give but I branch. know my mama and my mama be helping huh. people. And Ooh. here's this from Connie's yearbook. Ooh. Can you read it? The purpose of this club was to bring a little sunshine into the lives of persons less fortunate than most. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. That really is, right? My mom's been helping people for a very, very long time. Over the years, your show, Ellen, has done some amazing things. As you end your time on Ellen, talk about the good it's done and that goodness gene you got from your mama. Ellen has really highlighted a lot of people that would not have had a highlight before, you know, for doing incredible things. Something that that I'm definitely taking with me from the show is that you can help from anywhere. And every little bit actually goes a really long way because help is help. And apparently it's just just part of the family legacy anyway. We want to share something else. 
on this recently released 1950 census, we found Connie's grandfather, your great-grandfather, Joseph Laurel Robert. He's there with his wife, Atrice, and their five kids. Yep, that's my Aunt Lydia, that's Uncle Pete, Uncle Joe, um, of course, my, my grandmother, Marie, and then uh, my Uncle Lawrence. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, Allison, this one is all about you. You recently took a DNA test and found out that you were 13% Chinese. It's always been rumored, we've always had questions about it, but my mother never knew her great-grandfather. Um, or I guess it would be my great-grandfather, Your correct? Great-grandfather. I'm so curious to learn more because there's so much of my mother's side that we don't know. Well, buckle up, because we found out where he lived. Was it A, Beijing, B, Sacramento, California, or C, Des Moines, Iowa? B. Sacramento, California. The answer is C, Des Moines, Iowa. Wow. (laughs) What's interesting about this is there weren't a lot of Chinese immigrants in Des Moines, Iowa at the time. In fact, we know there were only 31 men of Chinese descent by 1930. Also, while sleuthing the side of your family, we found an amazing artifact. What, what is this? This is a photo of Bessie J. Reinerson in the Des Moines paper when she was a kid, your great-grandmother. This is crazy because I absolutely know who Bessie is. Um, I actually will be inheriting her watch, and I actually wore her watch at our wedding. Right. And I'm trying to think if I've even seen a picture of her. Of her. Yeah, oh. so this is so special. Wow. And so she was in Des Moines, Iowa, which is how she met your great-grandfather. Wild. Wild. The current score is Twitch one, Allison none. Get on the board, baby. I know, I know. This is this is my round. This is my round right (laughs) now. Now your goal is to try to stump each other by coming up with two lies. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite episode of So You Think You Can Stump. (laughs) (laughs) Babe. Okay. Your great great grandmother had three sisters. What were they named after? A, horses, B, flowers, or C, gemstones? I want to get a point on the board so bad. Me and Jackie, we believe in you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because, because trees have leaves. The answer is B, flowers. The answer is B. Yeah, let's go. Allison's great great grandmother was named Daisy, and her uh, sisters were named Rose, Lily, and Pink. Her name was Pink? Yep. Allison, go ahead and grab your memory box and have a look inside. Oh, wow. That is a photo of all four sisters, each wearing their named flower pinned to their dress. That is so That's amazing. Crazy. Did you and your siblings growing up ever wear matching outfits? We always had to wear matching dresses with my two other sisters every Sunday, and they were handmade by my mother. That's fire. That is fire. That's fire. We took fire to them very quickly as well. (laughs) (laughs) Allison, now it is your turn to get your stump on. Okay. The question is about your mom's second great-grandfather. Edward Boss. In 1863, he chose to get involved in the Civil War. Did he, A, care for the wounded? B, did he bury the dead? C, enlist and fight with the Union Army? I'm gonna say C, he en- en- enlisted and en- en- fought with the Army. The answer is C, he enlisted and fought with the Union Army. Twitch, take a look inside your memory box. These are his service records. You can see he joined for duty in 1863 with Company G of the 51st U.S. Colored Troops. We know that Edward was injured during the Battle of Fort Blakely. He spent three months in the hospital and returned to keep fighting in July of 1865. Oh, that's wild. Wow. Oh man, I actually did not know that uh, that I had that I, that one of my relatives fought in the Civil War. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. My grandfather 
is named uh, Eddie Boss as well. The bosses have family reunions every other year, and my grandfather always takes a special amount of time to go down as much as we know about mm -hmm. our family. My grandfather's seen a lot. It takes a lot to blow his mind, and this is, this is gonna blow his mind. <laughs> The current score is Twitch 2, <laughs> Allison 1, but it is time for the winner take all final round. This is anybody's game, gang. Okay, Ooh, okay. Lighting. Okay, Twitch, you might be thinking that it would be unlikely to learn the names of your ancestors living before the Civil War. We want to introduce you to your fifth great-grandmother whose name you might have never heard before. Was her name A, Lucy, B, Dolly, or C, Kitty? Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh. Well, the answer is... Oh, no. B! Her name was Dolly! Wow, yes! And now, this census record from 1880 shows that Dolly Hendricks was 93 at the time. That means she would have been born around 1787. That's 78 years before emancipation. Since it was rare to have names like this, all of this is, <laughs> all this is, is really, I keep saying mind blowing, but it but it is just because you know these are things that I've never heard before ever. In 1880, she was living in Elam, so your roots go deep in Montgomery, Alabama. This is really who established like uh, established our family in Alabama here. You're just helping to add to the to the history, man. I appreciate this. I have chills right now. <laughs> man, wow. What do you two make of these remarkable women in your families? It really speaks to the strength and the perseverance that, um, that I've always seen from my family, especially the women in my family. The roots have gone even further. I think it's priceless. At the end of the day, it just shows how important each individual's lives are. You know, every person that's been here has a family and people that want to hear their stories and carry on that tradition. and. I just think this has been such a remarkable day. So, it's time to honor our winner with the Golden <laughs> Leaf Trophy! <laughs> Allison, congratulations! Absolutely. Oh my goodness! <gasps> oh, that feels good. It, it's about the women. What do we It's learn? about the women, oh, so you, you're keeping oh. the tradition going. Thanks for playing and thanks for watching Two Lives in a Leaf! Oh. Hey, thank y'all so much for watching. And listen, click the link below to start your own family tree and to start exploring the 1950 census on Ancestry. And be sure to subscribe to Ancestry on YouTube for more Two Lies and a Leaf.